Hi everybody, uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, in this, I am just going to be explaining basically what my essay was about. So my essay, I actually called Acting Naked, and then colon, yoga for the actor. I called it this because in this essay, I'm basically discussing my experience as a musical theater major who started taking yoga and how yoga has really improved me as an actor, a dancer, and as a musician and as well as a person. So let's get right into this one. Firstly, I will discuss the requirements of a musical theater major. There are a lot of things that you have to like fit into as a musical theater major BFA. Like for dance, you have to be able to take quick direction and turn it into a fluid and beautiful choreography. You can't just strike poses and learn in the style of any choreographer that comes across your way. Performances in dance should have soul and story and fluidity and really create a magical experience for the viewer. Furthermore, as a BFA, you have to learn a number of styles so that you can, in the practical world, go out and dance in a number of styles. For instance, uh, ballet and jazz and modern and tap, and I've even taken a Michael Jackson class. As a musician, you have to learn to sing with proper technique without straining the voice and without uh, having tension in the body. And you need to be able to act and dance possibly while singing. And you have to be able to sing in a number of styles that fits the composer's needs. Finally, as an actor, you have to be able to create a raw and real performance. It can't look like you're acting, like you can't act like you're acting. It's, it's called indicating where you pretend to have emotions and pretend to be playing the role but you're not really in the role. You have to have an authentic performance. It has to be real and you have to have a presence and spark about you. Going on, I thought we would talk about what I thought about yoga before I took this class. In the past I have sat in on a couple of sessions of this yoga class that my mother was in and she had like a bunch of middle-aged to elderly women in this class and so I remember being a little cocky 12 year old maybe even younger and I just thought wow look at me I'm so flexible but I was sitting there comparing myself to the bodies of these more seasoned women than myself in middle school I was on the track team and my coach incorporated some yoga into our practice and it wasn't very often and it wasn't very detailed, but the amounts of time we did it, I remember sitting there looking at my peers and looking at myself and being dismayed that I was not as flexible as my peers. I found that they had more experience than myself, and so I became very insecure about my lack of flexibility compared to my peers. Now, my problem in both of these situations was obviously comparing myself to others, as I am a firm believer now that everyone is on their own path and should follow their own journey and compare themselves not even to themselves or to other people. They should just go with the flow, you know? Furthermore, my thoughts on yoga before taking this class was I basically thought that it was just about flexibility. I thought that it would only make me more flexible, which was great and I was happy about it, but there's so much more to yoga. So what is yoga? As you all probably know, yoga is rooted in Indian philosophy and dates back to way in the past and it began as like a spiritual enlightenment practice and later became used for physical and mental wellness. With a quick Google search, you'll find that yoga means to join, to unite, to yoke, and it's essentially referring to the joining of the mind, body, and spirit. The benefits of yoga is a ginormous list, and I'm just gonna rattle off a few. It, like, you can improve your physical fitness, your flexibility, your balance, your endurance. Uh, yoga improves your mental state, the amount of present you are. Yoga makes you a more alive and awake person, or at least it did this for me. Yoga made me a better musician. Yoga is all about breath or pranayama and how the breath informs the movement. And similarly, music is also about breath, how breath informs the uh, tone of your voice and how it improves your sound. Yoga also promotes good posture and a clear mind, which are really important in singing. 
Furthermore, it relieves tension. And oh my god, has it relieved so much tension for me. A lot of people hold it in their, their necks, their throats, their tongues, or their shoulders, or their backs. People hold a lot of tension while singing. And yoga really allowed for me to release a lot of this tension and just perform, you know? Furthermore, yoga made it easier to sing without tension, even in situations that would cause a lot of tension. For instance, singing a really emotional piece, or singing a challenging and movement piece. So let's discuss how yoga made me a better dancer. I was not a very trained and seasoned dancer, especially compared to my peers. A lot of them have been dancing since they were two or three years old, and that just wasn't me. And I was okay with that, but it definitely made me feel like I was falling behind in some of my dance classes last year. How I had only taken like a musical theater dance class where I did like, I've had the time of my life in a duet, and that was very brief, only for a couple months, and then I took like a month of tap because I was in a musical. I also had this view of dance where it was just like striking poses and almost modeling, and that's just not how dance is supposed to be. But yoga made me improve my flexibility, obviously. I have gotten really close to getting my splits. Uh, it's also improved my balance and strength. I have a an easier time now at bar and doing pirouettes and going up in releve and staying there for a long time. But most importantly for me, I think yoga has taught me to really flow through choreography as opposed to just striking the poses. And I think that the reason that this improvement happened for me was because you're supposed to really flow through the asanas in yoga. You go from one pose to the other fluidly without, like, robotically making movements. Finally, this is how yoga made me a better actor and better person. As I've previously stated, acting has to be raw and real and coming from within. You really have to relate to your character. In order to do that, you have to know yourself. Personally, this past year, I had been really struggling with myself. I had been going through a number of losses. I had felt that I could not identify with myself. And so I was really struggling with this aspect of acting. I could not authenticate my acting because I could not relate it to myself because I didn't know who I was. Yoga this year for me was all about self-discovery and helping with my personal issues. I would sit in a meditative state in Savasana and I would really meditate on the idea that I was finding myself and I felt it really helped. Yoga really taught me to be present and aware and awake at any given moment in time and that is very important for an actor. You have to have this sense of relaxed readiness where you are not tense and not like hyper. You just have to be ready for anything but in a relaxed way and I think that yoga really allowed that for us. I found that I really needed to learn to take a step back and appreciate things as they were and I found that it was easier to stop stressing about things such as labels and articles of clothing and hair which I previously had been stressing so much about. Honestly, this was the biggest breakthrough I had in this course. I stopped looking at myself and judging, comparing myself to my peers or to my past self or to beautiful individuals on my Instagram feed. I would sit in Savasana and I would meditate and look inward more so than I could ever do in any of my previous meditation experiences. And I would really flow through the postures, feeling the negativity leave my body and out my fingertips, and I felt light really come in to my body, I guess. I would leave class with an elevated mood and an awake body. In concluding, I would basically like to offer my advice to other aspiring BFAs. I think that if you want to be good at what you do in musical theater, I think it is a great idea to take up yoga. Yoga has drastically improved my performance as an actor, as a musician, as a dancer, and as a person. Furthermore, I think that yoga can really be incorporated into people's pre-show and pre-audition rituals. Everyone has one where you sit down and you go and you center yourself, and the easiest way I've found that I can center myself is through a little bit of yoga. So I would definitely advise any BFA or aspiring musical theater individual to take up yoga and buy a mat and just start looking inward. Alrighty, that is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this and have a lovely, wonderful day and happy holidays.